So if you're coming to Japan, sushi. You probably want to try out the sushi. But with thousands of sushi shops just in Tokyo alone, it may be pretty hard to choose which one to go to. So in this video, let me show you some of my favorites in Tokyo that are delicious, fresh, unique, but also at the same time at a very affordable price. There are many different types of sushi restaurants in Japan, each of them offering their own uniqueness and specialty. So in this video, I will give you a variety and range of the different types of sushi restaurants you could try out, starting with this one here. So the first place we have come to is this shop here called Zal. What's unique about this shop is that you can actually fish for your own fish. So if you get the fish, it's actually a little bit cheaper than if you just order it and it's so much more fun. So we're going to try fish for the fish now. And you have to make sure you get the right fish. After you get the fish, you can actually choose how you like the fish to be cooked. And I chose sushi and I also got it boiled and then it's got soy sauce and meeting. It's under $30 as well so it's a great price and it's fresh. When you eat sushi you actually dip it from, you don't dip the rice in the soy sauce, you flip it around and you dip the fish in the soy sauce. Mmm! Big bite! Give me, give me a chicken. So that was a big mouthful. It's a lot chewier than I thought. And the flavor, it's not too strong. So it's not like your tuna, your fatty tuna and salmon where it's got a really strong flavor. But this is as fresh as it can get for sushi. I just caught this fish, the red snapper, and now they made it for me. They normally have the ginger, the pickled ginger on the side. And that's for you to eat to clean your palate so you can taste the next sushi. So right now we are at Midori Zushi and this is one of my personal favorites and you can tell it's a very popular shop amongst the locals and the tourists. When you first arrive you have to get a ticket and then you line up but the lines can be very long and you can wait a very long time so what I recommend, this is a tip from me, is to make a reservation online and when it's near your number that's when you finally come to the shop so then you don't have to wait that long. There's also an English menu if you can't understand Japanese. So you can either order a set or you can order um, separate items, the fish you like. So I got the eel and this big piece of sushi was only 630 yen so that's a great price. What I love about Midori Zushi is that they give a really generous piece of fish at the top. What a lot of other sushi shops do is that they put a lot of rice so then you get full on that. This is really good quality for the price. It's such a big piece of fish so I couldn't even put it in my mouth all at once but absolutely love this place. One of the best sushi shops in Tokyo so I do recommend it and they have a lot of other shops around Tokyo so definitely check those out as well. The 
next sushi shop we're going to go to is a little bit different. It's a standing sushi bar. And in Japan, standing while eating is a very common way to eat. There's other restaurants like standing and eating soba, standing and eating curry, udon, but it's a little bit smaller. However, it's a fast way to eat and just go, and it's very interesting. So the next sushi shop we are at is this 100 yen conveyor belt sushi and what's great about this place is the atmosphere and everything is really fun. You've got the sushi coming to you on the conveyor belt and then you can order your sushi from the touch screen panel. All the sushi basically is around 100 yen, 108 including tax and you can order the basic ones from salmon, tuna, to shrimp and you can also order some fun ones like I did, the sushi donut. So the quality of the sushi and the fish compared to the previous shops might not be as good. However, this atmosphere is really fun. It's a new way of experiencing sushi in Japan. So there are many fun and high-tech conveyor belt sushi shops in Japan. However, there are also more traditional ones as well, like this one behind me. The conveyor belt circles around the shop in the middle with the table surrounding it. However, to order the sushi, you actually have to order it to the staff or write it on a piece of paper. There is also an English menu with the standard sushi. However, on the walls, there are special menus written in Japanese. And I recommend getting the kopore sushi, which has salmon, tuna, and tuna salad, spilling out of the sushi. Also, the dish color represents how much each dish is. This is a very cheap yet has good quality fish conveyor belt sushi shop. All of these shops were so good in their own ways, but which one did you guys like the best? Let me know down in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Lastly, I just wanted to say you guys are so awesome. A lot of you left tips and advice comments sharing your personal experiences here in Japan. So now the people who watch the video, they can learn from our mistakes and not do what we did. So a big thank you to you guys. You do not know how much this will help newcomers who come to Japan. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.